Aloha, this is John with Human Design Hawaii, and um, you'll have to excuse my voice a bit because, quite frankly, guys, I am dying. I mean, by the time you hear this, I probably will be dead. Um, not because anything got me, but because I went ahead and took my own life, um, understanding that my body is absolutely having a no to all the, the treatments and everything that are being presented to me. Um, but on that note, I don't want to shock anyone. It's really okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here to speak from a different place of the consciousness that's really the one observing all of this. Um, my fate seems to be, and it's, it's kind of a dark fate, I admit, after all this time, um, 23 years of teaching human design every day of my life, being a machine, being here just relentlessly, you know, helping people and so forth that I have this vehicle breaking down on me and where I know most people would be freaking out and trying to figure out how to fix it and stuff. As soon as I even began to understand what this was, my, my first and immediate thing was how do I kill myself in the most <laughs> gentle and easiest way possible? So yes, by the time you guys hear this, I probably will no longer be on this plane. That is just, that is just the vehicle and what's happening to the vehicle. And, and then there's the passenger, John, that's here to, to have this ride. And um, as much as I've enjoyed teaching human design, and my God, it's been a passion. It's been my life. It's been everything. Um, I'm no longer able to do it. Um, my physical form is broken down to the point where um, just having a, a good one-on-one -on -one session with someone is tough for me. Um, that, that was a, a real kick in the balls. Um, once I really understood what I was dealing with and the doctors started to present me with, you know, what they could or couldn't do for me, I was having absolute fuck no, fuck no. My body was saying no, no, no. I didn't even understand how aggressive or how, I mean, this, this, this is going to kill me one way or another, guys, whether it's in one year, three years, five years. And everybody wants me to, you know, try to, you know, not everybody, the medical community, let's say, they all want to keep me alive. And I'm looking at this situation going, no way in hell. I, I want to go lucidly, strongly, and, and very aware to my own death. I've had a beautiful dance with life, guys. I mean, human design has allowed me to see so much, to get to a place where I can be a passenger that understands this is just what's happening. I'm not arguing with life. I'm not trying to make it wrong. I will be honest that the last few months it, it especially have been incredibly rough on me, um, both physically and emotionally. Um, I don't think anybody just exits this place with um, no fear at all. I think that would be ludicrous, but I've just had this feeling like I'm, I'm a dog and it's, it's, it's just my time and it's time for me to wander off and, and die. So that is what's happening, guys. And, and again, you know, I don't think anybody will hear this until after I'm dead. But the passenger, the passenger is really in awe of all this. Here I am, I, you know, I've been teaching all this stuff. Um, you know, the whole awareness thing has really been the only important part to me. The ability to really accept what it is, which is, you know, really what I'm pointing at here, guys, is that this is happening. I could make it wrong. I could argue with life, but... No, what I see is life has given me this incredibly beautiful opportunity where unlike so many people that are going to be, you know, frightened and trying to get every inch of life and stay alive for every moment, I just want to make a nice clean exit. I want to have a beautiful death. I've had a beautiful life and now it's time for me to have a beautiful death. And, you know, again, I'm going to be doing that myself. Uh, it will be done very privately, legally. Um, I've already got the medication set up and, um, really I just, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, a, a farewell to, to the people, the, the very few people that really got what I do in human design, which has helped you get to a place of being a real passenger in this and being able to face things like, it's like, this is the end of my life guys. And, and I'm trying to meet it or I am meeting it with as much, you know, warrior spirit as I can. It's like, no, I am front and center. I'm solid. I'm lucid. I understand what's happening. And I understand that this is the end of this ride. And with that comes, yeah, there comes a lot of things. But 
the one thing that I really see that I get the opportunity to have that so few, few people will ever have an opportunity to have is to be lucidly aware of, okay, this is my body shutting down and not to be trying to make it wrong. And again, you know, every everything the doctors presented to me was a huge fuck no, fuck no, to the point where one day Devin was sitting next to me and they were trying to explain what they wanted to do and how lucky I was to be able to get this procedure and all this. And my body's like, fuck that. There is no fucking way I'm going down that road. And as I discovered later, all it would do was make me weaker um, I would still end up having to deal with this in another three to five years anyway. And, you know, just like, and it is kind of a dark joke on the sixth line being over it. It's like, no, guys, if if if, if it's this bad at this point, <laughs> I don't want to play this game again. I may be a warrior, but a good warrior also knows, you know, when to tr- retreat and surrender. It's like, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight the galaxy. If this body is going to die, which it appears that that is true, and again, I will be aiding in that process. Um, I want to do that with a, you know, with as much awareness and as much power in my body as possible to be lucid, to be comfortably as comfortable as I can be. The last, whatever, um, these last few weeks, or if this will, yeah, we're into the last few weeks, and um, before I'm going to be gone, and. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just saying, guys, th- this is human design. You don't argue with life. You don't try to make it wrong. You you show up and you see what happens. And yeah, my mind could think of a thousand different things it would like to do. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, my life's been over for the last six months. I mean, the last six months have have, have really been hell for me, guys. And um, I don't want to live like this. I don't think anybody should ever have to live like this. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy and, and grateful that um, all the, you know, the medical aid and dying is, is available here. And I was able to get set up on that so quickly and easily. It was like the way was so clear. The way the, my way is not to fight this disease and fight life because that's what I would be doing. I would be trying to make life wrong and saying this vehicle is not supposed to break down, you know, but, but it is breaking down. And there is no fixing it. And so there's only acceptance. And so if this can just be a a hallmark of what acceptance really looks like and what it may look like to really be able to trust your own self, to trust your own life, to trust your own body. And see, my body was so clear. No, no, no. And, and And I immediately started looking for what is the cleanest and most beautiful exit that I can make? How can I do this myself? How can I do this without doctors? How can I be away from people and medical bullshit and trying to deal with a medical system? I mean, I mean, you guys talk about it breaking down. You know, I, I haven't looked up from my desk in, in 20 years and, and I realize how, how badly everything is broken down and there is no way. I would want to deal with this any any point in the future. So, yes, this is the the first take of really letting you guys know this is what's happening. The body's going. The consciousness is going wherever it's going next. But I am here and I am lucid and I am making all of this, you know, it's all absolutely being informed by my body. But I am lucidly also looking at so many aspects of this where you know, no way my body could have known everything it knew when it was saying no to the treatment and, and how beautiful it is that I that my body took me in this direction. I want to say it like that because my body took me in this direction, not to fight, to, to go ahead and just let, let it take me and meet it head on, to meet death head on and have a beautiful death or a beautiful dance with my death as well. And so, you know, again, I, I just feel grateful to life. I feel grateful to all of you that got me and, and um, the few people that were really able to hear that this human design thing is a tool for awareness and hopefully that this can serve as some, some document, uh, um, some piece about, guys, this, this is what it looks like to be fully surrendered and, and have acceptance of what is. And I'm not saying that my mind agrees with it all the time. I'm saying I'm not fighting with life. 
and I'm meeting death as, as cleanly and as beautifully as I possibly can. And I wish you all the best. Um, please trust only yourselves in this experiment because it has become so insane. You know, all the information and everything out there. But I know very few people that actually could accept anything like this at this level. I know very few people that can even talk to me about this stuff at this level. But on that note, guys, that's going to have to be enough for today because my body is worn. Aloha and wishing you all the best. Goodbye.